Mark is in Basildon. Uh, Mark, good evening. What's your question? Hello there. Um, okay, so I run a small business um, and I have an employee who is currently uh, off uh, with a doctor's issued uh, signal for uh, depression and uh, he was seen a couple of days ago working in another business close to his house. Um, and I was just wondering where I stand and how I can... Mark, what does he do for you? This. Um, he's an engineer. And what was he doing for this other company? Do you know? Uh, very, very similar works. We call it Spanner Works. Um, he's basically doing a, a very similar job. Right. Uh, are you paying him sick pay? He's on SSP. He's on SSP. Uh, how long has he been off work? Um, about three to four weeks. And you presumably think he's just earning a little bit of extra cash in hand? Well, this isn't the first time he, he was off for about three to four weeks a couple of months ago. Um, right. And he, he issued a similar signal then. How long's he worked for, Mark? Uh, just under two years. Fine. Uh, what do you want to do? Do you want to dismiss him or do you want to keep him? Um, I, I think with... With the current situation, I, I would probably uh, like to uh, go down the, the dismissal route. As long as he's worked for less than one year and 51 weeks, most people think it's two years, but it's actually one year and 51 weeks, you can dismiss him uh, and pay him his notice pay. I don't think you'd want to go down a gross misconduct dismissal, uh, but you can dismiss him and pay him his notice pay and he would have no comeback at all because you've got to have worked for one year and 51 weeks to claim unfair dismissal so mark if you want to dismiss him you're on absolutely solid ground doing that does that help it does yes but i was just wondering where the because obviously because of the uh, explanation on his signal it comes under the mental health uh, yes but you're, i don't think that's going to be a problem for a couple of reasons first of all uh, in order to qualify as disabled he's got to have had a condition that's either lasted for 12 months or expected to last for 12 months and it doesn't sound like that's the case second of all uh, the mere fact that somebody might suffer from a disability doesn't give them a right to a job for life if they go and work for a competitor uh in most circumstances that is a reason to dismiss that's why i asked you what he was doing for the competitor because if it had been uh, a very low level job he might have said that his gp had advised him to try to try something nice and easy just to recuperate just to get back into a working environment before coming back to the more pressured normal workplace but i think you're going to be absolutely fine mark you're absolutely right to call in and thank you for doing so but but you can dismiss him thank you very much for your help thank you 